In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can manipulate the frame of a drawing to make it non-rectangular and a little bit less boring. First of all, let's just clarify what we're talking about. When we talk about a drawing frame, we mean the boundary or the frame around a document that's been imported. So that could be a PDF, a DWG, an image, or a view that's been saved and then placed on a layout. And we'll look at some examples of both of those and see how we can manipulate them. So let's begin by taking a look at an imported PDF. Because it's a PDF, it comes in as the page size. This is just a, a quick print that's been taken from the, the document used to create last week's article. It's a little bit of text, has an image, that's it. Not very exciting. But what we can do is then chop up that PDF and manipulate it to whatever we require. So I'm gonna just use the arrow tool First thing I'm going to do is pick the very top edge and what you'll see is we have access to all of the standard tools that we're able to use to manipulate any polygon shape in ARCHICAD. So the first option allows me to create a new node. Let's just place a node here. As soon as I do that, you'll see the boundary changes to show a dash line to show that the original boundary has now changed. And then I can carry on. So let's add another node here. And we could do something like that to change the shape, which doesn't really dramatically change the content. But let's just go to the bottom. We have the options to create curves. We have the options to offset all the edges. So if we wanted to just bring in the whole thing, there it kind of works. We can also do, going back in, just offset the bottom edge, pull it up to here. And maybe what we'll do is come back in here, and this time we can add what I want to do is actually subtract from the polygon. So let's zoom in here, and what we'll do is just chop out that piece of text. So we can do anything like that, really. We can also use other geometry. So let's just draw a couple of circles here. A circle there, and another circle there, and maybe another one across here. I want some sort of bubble shape. I'm going to just trim away overlapping bits of the circles. If I just change those colour so you can see it a little bit more clearly. So that's a little shape that I want to use. And what I'm going to do now is select and repeat the process of removing or subtracting from polygon. But if we use the standard tool, we can only use a polyline that we, we define. But what I can do is use the magic wand to click on the edge of those circles that I've drawn. And what I've done now is just chop out some sort of weird shape <laughs> into the, the PDF itself. So you can do lots of things to manipulate it. If it all goes horribly wrong and you find that you've made too much of a mess, what you can always do is select the drawing, right click, go to the settings, and in the frame properties, we can tell it to now fit the frame to the drawing. So by doing that, if I right click, zoom to selection, you can see I've gone back to the original document. That's an example of a PDF. Let's take a look at an image. This is a, it's not actually Scotland, although I'm Scottish. It's a, an image or a photo taken in the south coast of England on a typical summer's day a couple of years ago. And you can see the sky is very summery. So I don't have Photoshop. I'd like to make a little bit more use of this image. So what I can do is actually crop it. So all I'm going to do is use lots of insert new nodes and effectively just move that point down and then spend a lot of time going around here properly, adding new nodes and effectively just cut out the sky. So to cut a long story short, let's go to this example here where I've completed it and added my own custom sky. And I'm sure you'd agree that's much more summery and a much more realistic summer's day. So I'm going to select the image and you can see it's actually part of the group so you can see the nodes on it. But you can see I've spent some time going around and adding in lots of points just to crop out the sky. And as with the previous example, not everybody's going to like it. So what we can always do is go back in and tell it to fit the frame to the drawing. 
and that just recreates the original boundary. So I haven't destroyed it in any way, it's still there. Although personally, I kind of like it like that, so I'm going to leave it there. So that's fine, that's a little bit of fun chopping these things up, but what about more realistic examples? So let's take a look at some layouts. So here I have a marketing plan, and it's very much a colourful document. We have a construction plan, which is very much the business end of things, that's the, the construction information. But what happens when we want to combine them? So here I've actually created a hybrid plan, which combines a little bit of both. And effectively, all I've done is taken the construction drawing and just chopped this part away from it completely. The marketing plan, I did the reverse, where I chopped away the right-hand side, and then we just lined them up on a grid so that the bits of information then stack together and join back up. So to do that, all we do is zoom in, and we can see here's the edge of one document. Let's just... Take that edge and we'll pull it all the way across to here. And what I could then do is actually pick up the construction document and we'll extend that edge out to this wall. And now we've combined and just extended the construction information. So it's just a case of using the examples that I looked at previously where we manipulate the boundary of that drawing to turn it into the, the type of document that we actually need here. So hopefully you can see it's quite easy to manipulate these frames and create something that's a little bit less boring than a standard rectangle.